Yeah, Andrea, senior members of the coalition say this is an issue of free speech after Donald Trump was kicked off Twitter, Facebook and Instagram for posting messages the social media giant said could encourage violence. This action coming in the wake of last week's insurrection at the US Capitol. But the acting Prime Minister, Michael McCormack, says it shouldn't be up to major tech companies to decide whose voices are heard on social media. And he says that... And the Treasurer also echoed those comments. Well, I felt pretty uncomfortable uh, with those uh, measures that were announced. Um, freedom of speech is fundamental to our society. Uh, as Voltaire said, um, I might not agree with what you say, but I defend the right uh, to say it. Uh, and so those decisions were taken by commercial companies, but personally I, I felt uncomfortable with what they did. Andrea, on the other hand, the opposition leader says that it's about time Donald Trump was banned from social media, also criticising the Prime Minister for failing to condemn his own MPs, Craig Kelly and George Christensen, for espousing conspiracy theories about hydroxychloroquine and also for repeating unfounded claims of election fraud in the US. Anthony Albanese says this kind of disinformation is dangerous and should be called out. I just think the fact that when Scott Morrison is asked about this, he responds by talking about freedom of speech and hasn't condemned Craig Kelly or George Christensen or any of the others who have promoted the idea of the conspiracy theories that these weren't Donald Trump supporters. The Nationals leader, Michael McCormack, says there's no need for him to pull George Christensen into line. The Treasurer also refusing to condemn him, saying only that he's accountable to his electorate.